flag hosting are normally done in countries independence day republic day or any special occasion but if you look very closely at the waving of flag it looks really awesome or sometimes you can see this kind of small animated version of a waving flag which can be used as a small icon watermark or any kind of lower thirds and that's exactly i'm going to create in today's video basically i'll show you two different versions one is the animated version of the waving flag and another is the realistic flag and if you want to know the complete process step by steps and stay with me till the end of this video which brings our title how to make a flag animation using hitfilm express all right so first of all you have to search any stock image of any flag and here i am choosing indian flag open hitfilm express make your composite shot and let's name it as a flag and in this composite shot you simply drag your image flag as it is after that i'll make an another composite shot say let's name it as a cartoon flag And here you drag your previous flag composition as it is here. And now the real work will begin. You go to the search library and type wave. You can see here, you select it and apply it here. After applying, you can see some wave now at the edges. You go to the properties and you can play with all these parameters like amplitude, frequency and all this. Now to get the movement of the flag animation from left to right, you have to use one more interesting element, which is phase speed, you can see here. You just play with the values, and look you are having this nice animation so here you can see at the top and bottom my edges are very sharp very straight but i want to make those curve as well and for that you have to draw a freehand mask around the flag select your freehand mask and start drawing very close to the edges of the flag you still need some minor adjustment and you can see the waves in the edges as well so this is basically the animated version of the waving flag and here I'm going to add one more interesting element. You can see there is a property called illumination. You just activate and see some shadows appear which looks really nice and also you can play with its own parameters and you will have a nice shiny and seamless flag animation. Now if you remember at the beginning we already made a flag composite shot. You can replace this flag with any other flag here and all the settings all the operations will remain same you no need to do again well flags are normally made of cloth or some kind of fabric so if you want to give the, that kind of material feel in the flag you can do it as well and for that you just use any stock image or fabric background and you just put it at the top of the layer you change your blending mode to multiply and you are done look at this now your material is properly applied here And in case if you're thinking that your brightness comes down, you can use the brightness property at the fabric background. So go to the search and apply brightness. And now you can use this entire animation in anywhere, in any video clip, any image by just changing its blending mode to screen. So this was all about the making an animated version of a waving flag. Now I'm going to show you how to make a realistic looking flag animation. And for that you need to have a stock video clip of waving clothes as you can see here. First I will make an another composite shot, let's name it as a real flag. And here again you should drag the first flag composite shot here. And at the top of the layer you just drag it your stock video clip. And here I want to make some rotation so that my animation goes from left to right. And for a moment I am going to change the blending mode to multiply. And look you are having a kind of like a realistic flag. But the result is still not satisfactory. Now to get the fully optimistic result, you have to use the displacement property. Go to the search and type displacement and apply it in the flag composite shot. And most important, you have to change the source layer to the waving cloth. Uh, for a moment I will disable my top layer and change my blending mode back to normal. Under the displacement parameter, you just play with the horizontal and vertical displacement. And you can see some kind of distortion effect at the flag. And finally, you make a duplicate of the waving cloth layer, make it enable and change the blending mode to multiply. And see, you are having this realistic flag animation. And in case if you are thinking your brightness comes down, then you can play with the brightness property. And here again, you can go back to the first flag composite shot and apply the fabric background here. Change the blending mode to multiply 
and you are having a realistic looking flag with a fabric material. Similarly, you can change the flag with any other country's flag and all the operations will remain same. You no need to do again. So in this video, I have shown you two different variations. You can use any one depending on your project requirement. In the first animated version, you simply play with a wave value. But in the second case, you have to use a stock lips plus displacement effect and finally your blending mode. So all these three things will matter. That's the core part you should focus. Let me know in the comments for any questions, for any query. Smash the like button and share it. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. I think this is one of the great motion graphic examples. Well, I already made a separate playlist for a motion graphics example. You can see here. I'll see you in the next video.